Hey guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. We check out the latest gear and gadgets from modern families. If you dig this video, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Okay, it's summer and that means our family is getting to do one of our favorite things to do, which is to go outside and camp. Um, but I have to say, if there's one thing I enjoy more than camping, it's buying camping gear. I have an obsession with it. I have a closet full of it. Um, and it's just something that I love to do. So. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is what is the best camp chair? Now, like many of you, I started out with the Walmart special, the giant fold-up chair that weighs 15 pounds. You have to lug everywhere. It rusts. You have to change it out almost every summer because it gets so beat up. And I wanted to see what better options there were out on the market. So over the last few years, I have purchased just about every popular chair and I have a lot of opinions on them. So today, I want to do a head-to-head -head comparison showing you some of the most popular chairs um, and hopefully help you decide what's the best fit for your family. Let's check them out. For today's head-to-head, -head, we're gonna take a look at a few chairs from different corners of the market. We'll start things off with the BTR stool from Hillsound Design. We'll take a look at the click chair that you may have seen ads for on Instagram. We'll also look at the Helinox backpacking chair that's made out of aluminum, the Sitpack Campster, which is actually a new chair to the market, and we'll wrap things up by taking a look at the Nemo Stargaze chair and its cousin, the Nemo Stargaze Recliner Luxury, which is probably one of the most elaborate chairs in the market. And of course, we'll compare them all to the chair that you may have laying around in your garage. Let's get started with the BTR stool from Hillsound. BTR in this case, standing for better than a rock. This is an ultralight stool that comes in both 14 inch and 17 inch sizes. All you do to set it up is extend the legs and fold out the seat, which locks the legs into place with the technology they call Phantom Lock. This stool is light enough to take literally anywhere, and although the short one is a little too small for my 510 frame, the taller one feels just right to me. Next up is the Helinox Chair 1, which for a long time has been one of the most popular ultralight chairs in the market. Its frame uses the same kind of aluminum poles you'd find in a backpacking tent, meaning it weighs only 2 pounds. The shock corded poles can be a little bit of a pain to set up and tear down, and it takes a minute or two to pack up the chair inside its carry bag. But overall, the Chair 1 makes for a comfortable seat beside the campfire. The Sitpack Campster is a chair that you probably haven't come across before, and that's because it's brand new to the market after wrapping up a campaign on Indiegogo. The Campster features a unique design with only three legs, and support arms that twist into place to hold up the seat. It sits up higher than almost any other chair on this list, and is super light at only two pounds, but I find myself sliding down to the front instead of sitting back comfortably whenever I sit in it. It might work out better for you depending on how you're comfortable sitting. If you're on Instagram, then you've probably come across an ad for the Click Chair. The Click Chair is another crowdfunded chair from 2019, and it's one that our family uses often. It packs down small, and it's a cinch to set up. Just pop out the legs, snap the four sides of the frame into place, and you're good to go. We love the deep pockets on the side, but I have to admit that the push button locks in the frame have a tendency to pinch my fingers when I close it, and that hurts. Otherwise, it's small, weighs only four pounds, and is super comfortable. The final chair we're checking out in this head-to-head -head is actually two different chairs from the same family from Nemo Equipment. The Stargaze Camp Chair and the Stargaze Recliner Luxury Chair. Both of these chairs feature a novel seating system that pairs a lightweight aluminum frame with a mesh seating surface that connects to the top of the frame. Honestly, they're a little strange to look at, but they both feature some big tricks up their sleeve. They can both rock and recline. That's right, you can rock in these chairs kind of like you would sitting in a hammock, and it's every bit as comfortable as it sounds. The real fun, though, comes with the effortless reclining mechanism that uses your body weight to keep you supported or lean you back. Combine those features with the full back and headrest found on the luxury model, and you have a camping chair that's unlike any other. All right, we've lined all of the chairs up, we've taken a look at all of their features, but you're probably wondering, what is the best chair for you? Well. That depends on what you're looking for. Uh, so let's take a look at some of our top picks for each of these different categories. All right, let's start with the best chair, period, for most people. <laughs> so if you want the most comfortable chair, money is no object, you want the most comfortable thing to sit in at the campsite, then you cannot go wrong with a Nemo Stargaze Recliner Luxury. 
This chair is absolutely ridiculous. Um, it feels more like you're sitting in a recliner or in a like an Eno hammock than it does that you're sitting in a chair. It's made out of this mesh material that dries really easily. Uh, it has great pockets for putting your phone or books or snacks or anything you want to keep with you when you're outside. It has a cup holder, um, but the best feature is it reclines. It actually leans back. Um, it swings so you can rock um, in the wind. It is an awesome camp chair and it is the one that your entire family is going to fight over. If you're just looking to replace that beat up old camping chair that sits in the corner of your garage, the one that's a pain to take in your car and too heavy to take anywhere, then you probably want to look into the click chair. Uh, this is a great little chair that completed a crowdfunding campaign around the end of 2019. Um, and we've really enjoyed using it. It's very easy to set up, it's very comfortable, it's still a good size, not quite as big as those department store chairs, but still really comfortable to set in. And the nice thing is it only weighs about four pounds and packs up really small, so it's easy to keep in your car, it's easy to throw in a bag or just walk down uh, to the beach with it, and it's a great all-around chair that you won't go wrong with. Now, if weight and portability are one of the main things that matter to you, then you want to check out one of the more lightweight options. Now, I've always loved this Helinox chair. I actually keep this in my truck. Um, again, it's really lightweight, packs down small, weighs only about two pounds, and it's still pretty comfortable. Uh, but this summer, we discovered the BTR stool uh, from a company called Hill Sound. And these things are absolutely incredible. You can see how tiny this is. It weighs, I think this is the 14 inch one, it weighs about 12 ounces, which is absolutely nuts. But it's super stable when you fold it out. Now it doesn't have back support, but it is something that um, if, you just, if you're going on a backpacking thing, if you want to just hike somewhere with your family and throw something really lightweight in your backpack, you will not even notice that this is there, making it a killer option for that kind of adventure. So there you have it. Those are our top picks for the best camping chair in each category. I hope that's helpful for you as your family makes the decision about what's best for you. Now, if you have an option that you use or a chair that we didn't feature here that you wanna talk about, make sure you drop a comment below and let us know. Uh, if you dug this video, again, press that like button. It helps us out a bunch. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.